Noah. Let's play with Noah for a moment. I mean, we could, we could talk about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We could talk about Moses, but I, Noah right now is important to me. For the longest time, we said we were going to build an ark around here. We've done it electronically. And God put it on a heart of, about a year ago, I guess it was, to build an ark for people. And this is where I say today is a little differently because I'm going to share some stuff that we've shared privately, not on live stream. We've talked about it in being health, but to do it from up front, well, here we go. Because hope of the generations and being health, even though they run a little separately, hope of the generation or being health comes underneath hope of the generations church. And wherever hope of the generations church goes is where being health is going to go, not the other way around. And so from the church mentality, where I'm at as a pastor, where we are as leadership is where being health is going to go. You with me? Our faith, our hope, our trust. <clears throat> Talking about Noah, can you imagine just for a second, I mean, we went to the, to the ark exhibit and we came back and we talked a little bit about it and what that looks like, but can you just, just bear with me for a moment? Can you imagine the thought on his, the thought process he had when he picked up that first saw and he walked up to the first tree? <clears throat> Think about it. Saws in hand. Okay, he probably had him and all three sons carrying the thing. You figure, if you look at the trees in the ark, they were massive. Trees in Lebanon, they were giant. So it's not like an e and you're done. This is all by hand, no DeWalt, no McKee to drill, no, what was the other one, a steel drill, none of that stuff to make it easy. It would, you know, can you imagine that first moment that Noah walked up to that first tree, put the blade to it, and before he pulled, can you just imagine everything that went through his head? Lord, are you sure? Because once I cut down this first tree, I got I to gotta believe that you've told me to cut down the, the correct first tree, that it's going to drop in the right spot because wherever this tree, tree drops is where we're building the boat. It ain't like we moving this thing around a lot. And that means he's got to clear all that land. And that first saw goes up on that first tree and he puts it right to it. He goes, and I could just picture all the things that flood through his head. That once I start this, I can't stop. Once I put my hand to the plow, we ain't moving backwards, y'all. And once you start cutting that tree, I don't want to waste God's resources. So that means you got to keep moving forward. Because I have no, Noah had zero evidence. Zero evidence that there was ever a raindrop, but there's going to be a flood. Can you imagine the people around him when he said, hey, I'm going to build a boat? Because there's a giant flood going to come wipe everybody out. Well, where's your evidence, Noah? I ain't got none. Well, where, where's, the, where's the paperwork, the track record? Where are the numbers? Where's the data to prove this? I ain't got none then why do you believe this is going to happen? Because God told me. What do you mean God told you? God told me. You mean to tell me you're going to believe something in somebody that you can't hear, you can't, well, he can't hear and he can't see, so I may not say it that way, that isn't standing in front of you, that there's going to be a flood coming, a, a, a whole massive, and wipe everybody out and you're building an ark to save people. Well, if there's any to save. Because I don't necessarily believe the ark was originally for people. I don't have any evidence of that. I think that was the original plan. I think the world got wor worse. And God said, you know what? Fine, we're going to wipe them all out. We're going to start over. He needed an ark to save what he could. People, the families that were righteous, the animals to repopulate the earth, to keep moving forward. And Noah stood there with that first blade. 
Lord, I trust you. Everybody's yelling and screaming at me. This is crazy. I have no evidence. Ground's dry. And he pulled that first tree. And when that first tree fell, when Noah knew that, and I'm just speculating, when that first tree fell, I just, I think Noah stood back as it went, and I think he sat back and he went, all right, Lord, let's rock and roll. We're going to get this thing done. The faith that he had, 